Good evening, everyone. It is Tuesday, April the 11th of 2017, meaning it's day 11 of Vita. I, of course, am Artemidge, bringing you yet another day of me talking into the microphone and webcam. I'm not sure if the microphone is picking up that loud noise outside. It sounds like some kind of animal having a wig out. I'm not sure what it could be. It's got the dog rather distracted. And I'm not too worried about it because it sounds too small to be of any real problem should anything happen. So, of late, I've been doing a lot of tabletop gaming, as I'm pretty sure it's been clear. I mean, the journeyman leagues going on for War Machine up at Black Knight Games. And tonight, I got out for an Infinity Night at Black Knight. Uh, God, Spud got me through my first game of N3. Despite the fact that I've been following the game since 2nd edition, once N3 got announced, I took a step back and just... I haven't really found the community was overly engaged. And while it was a poor turnout night, apparently, I had a good time. And so I'll certainly be doing all I can to make more regular trips up there on Tuesday nights. My first love for gaming did come in the form of video games, mostly out of accessibility and availability of people to play with, i.e. just my brothers and as well just not knowing about a lot of these tabletop games and I find that as some of you may have noticed I am quite into the music that comes out of video games uh, aside from the first couple of videos you may notice that the background music has been cover songs of various video game tracks and some of them are amazingly impressive I mean there's all kinds of great talent out there for video game music in terms of all these reinterpretations and remixes and rearrangements. Let me, let me play you a bit of this one. And she said, my friend, you know, there's nothing we can do. Just let it go. Secrets never show themselves. You learn to just move on till then this song is for you. For those of you who don't know, this is what the original sounds like. And really, it's just phenomenal what kind of songs you can find out there dealing with video game music. Lately at work, I've been regularly playing music by The Megas on my shifts at work, and they are a band who does pretty much exclusively Mega Man song covers as quite the various forms of rock. It's mostly towards a metal end, but I wouldn't outright call it metal because it's not all heavy guitars and things like that. It, it has lyrics that really tell a story and it's just phenomenal. I get the song stuck in my head regularly. And there are many other examples out there. There's the Neskimos, there's uh, guy in Toronto who goes on YouTube by Epic Game Music who does these amazing covers. Some are really weird, like the key change of Megalovania from Undertale. There's such an untapped potential there, especially in the older musics. If you look at the NES, it had the memory for three notes at a time. That was it. And so you take into something today and there's just so many different ways that you can take that basic skeleton, basically, and turn it into all kinds of new forms. So why don't some of you share some of your favorite video game uh, music remixes and cover bands and everything else down there, right in the description, or in the comments. You, you type in the comments, I type in the description. And we will talk about something else tomorrow. Have a good